she must respond. But I don't even know if she doesn't work. I know. I said this one. I'm not Um, that's been going on a lot too. So we'll, we'll send that probably right after this or tomorrow morning. 
Probably after tomorrow morning's class. Okay. okay. So we'll look out for that. Yeah. And you do have to log in at, uh, within 24 hours. If not, we have to look reset, which is fine if you miss the window, but just try to log in. Yeah. And your username is always your email. Um, and then healthcare. Um, so everyone is Dawson Chris or Kong, and then healthcare is dawsonhealthcare.com. So that's that's your username. So if you do not 24 hours, if you put that username in, they'll send you a new link to do your housework as well. So the great thing about this is that it is web based and an app on your phone. Um, and so that is really great. So we're going to start off with the web based, and this is just the login page. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and create a few examples of some expense reports um, that are very, very easy. So here's the first page. Um, it may look a little bit different because I am an admin, uh, but you'll definitely see the top line here um, for start a, uh, start a report. So we're just going to click on start a report. It's going to ask you for a report name. Um, we do kind of want to get this the same, so we ask for the three-digit month, the year, and then your last name. The report date, it can just be the day that you are doing your report. And then your business purpose, I'm just going to say this is going to be my December expense report. Anything in red is going to be mandatory. Uh, everything else is not mandatory, so it's just if you feel the need to put something in there, um, you have a comment to a manager about, you know, this could be you know, a certain meeting or anything specific, you can always do that. So I'm going to go to next, and this is what the screen that you're going to create your expense reports. Down here in the bottom right hand corner are kind of all the expense types that we have. Um, so first, and I know a lot of people do this, is mileage, and this is a great feature on this. Um, if I go down here and I'm going to choose mileage, personal car mileage, it's going to pop up a map. And the, the software is smart per se, so if you keep using the same address or you, know, you go to the same places, it's going to remember that and you're going to get a pop up that says your favorites. Or, recently used. So I'm going to go from our Dawson corporate office. I'm going to stop typing and hit tab, it kind of finishes it for you, to our string time location. And typically, it will kind of pop up your recently used. But of course, it's not doing that right now. Okay, and then it's going to calculate your route for you. It's going to tell you 9.2 miles. Um, I know in a last class they said, well, what if I don't use that route? Well, there are different kind of routes here that you can choose if, you know, that's not the route you used. It's going to go ahead and total that for you, and you're just going to hit add mileage to expense. So I'm going to have a couple other things to fill in, such as the transaction date. You know, I went there yesterday. Um, my business purpose, let's just say I had a training meeting. Um, it puts everything in in the amount. Um, the department, that's auto-populated for you guys. So it correlates with you know, your role, your department. And client is a free text field. Um, so you can put Dawson, because this is just internal. Or if I was going to a meeting at L Brands or Ohio Health, you can type in that client there. Um, it's not mandatory, but we are really asking that you do, because that's a way how we can kind of divvy up spend in certain things. And then I'm going to hit save. And that's going to add my first, you know, line item of this expense report. Any questions at all? Or pretty straightforward a little bit? Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add another expense, and I'm going to do let's see, a meal. So now we do have meals separated by like colleague and clients. Um, here, let's say I just got Starbucks, um, client, 
and this is just going to be, in my comments I'm going to say it was like an incentive, you know, there was an incentive that somebody won, and this is why they got that. Under any meals or anything like that, there's going to be attendees. And your name's automatically going to pop up, as obviously you are an attendee of this. Um, but I went here, and I'm going to add an attendee. This is if they're not in the book yet. So let's say, um, wait, how are you in here? Okay. Yeah. This is our fake. Our fake person. Do you put No. Sorry. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to go ahead and save this. And now it is added to the business expense. So if it was a colleague, the attendee type would be a colleague, and all of everybody here would automatically populate. So if you started to like, so if write I in my list name, it'll fill it in. Right. Um, and then if it's a business guest, obviously, like if that was a, that was a meals client, um, that would be like, the business guest. And then you can do like favorites, so if you're always, you know, you have your clients that you're, you're always working, you can save it there, so. <laughs> yeah. So, it, and it remembers, if you start using the same person, it will automatically throw them in your favorites, too. Okay. Alright, then I'm going to hit save. Um, now you're going to see here we have some um, things that pop up. This is a summary. This is if I had any comments. I have to attach a receipt to this. So I went ahead and I saved it. I forgot to attach the receipt. So I'm just going to click back on this line item. I know. Attach receipt is in the bottom right hand. Um, and it takes uh, like JPEG, PDF, anything like that. So I'm going to just upload my Starbucks receipt. attach it. So John, each receipt is going to need to be saved in, as its own file? Yes. <clears throat> we can't just do it all in one. It's got to be line itemized. If you, and if she were to do, and we can go, we'll go into the app later, mm -hmm. but you can take a picture with yeah. it. So if she were to do uh, that, like, as she went and then finished the expense report, that, like, at the end of the month, you can go to like available receipts, but we just don't have it loaded in here now, okay. and, and click on that. Oh, cool. And it will read it. It's, it's pretty um, like sophisticated. So it should even popular that that was Starbucks and that was $29. And like, you just have to kind of go through and review and make sure the information is correct and it read, you know, read your writing correct. But um, I think it's pretty like slick. And that's on the app side yeah. that has a I'll show you, like, I'll actually show you a picture of like, I'll take a picture. Okay. okay. So now that yellow sign has went to blue. So now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to submit this report. Just asking me, am I sure I want to submit it? Yes. Successfully submitted and it's going to my approver alley. Okay. I'm going to do one more. Um, to show you guys um, one more example of a couple different things. I do have a question. Yes. Um, are we are we doing these one at a time? Like, are you expecting if we had ten things to put on our report at the end of the month, we're having ten different reports? No, it's what it would be run report with every single one. Yes, absolutely. Great you can like add as you go, like a month, and then. Yeah, so when you'll people. come in, it'll say like open reports, ones that you've already started, and you'll hit on that, and you can just keep adding to it. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so I'm just going to do kind of a <laughs> second example. Um, 
around, but now I'm going to do a Neil's client. Just put in the transaction date, our business purpose. Um, we you know, had a peak discussion. Um, we went to late night slice. <laughs> <laughs> the amount was $55.99. Um, and for this, you know, our, our client was L Brands. So it's just filling in all of those. That it was actually white space. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, white I'm space. <laughs> I should have known no, that. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, it's a huge peak light. I think that's what I was thinking. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and add the attendee. So here, if you kind of go to advanced search, if you go here to employee, and I type in Chef L. He doesn't. He probably will. Because he's not in yet. My bad. You're, you're not yes, in your house. And his job's pretty close. So, okay, Jeremy, I'm going to go ahead and add this to my expense. I'm adding one, but if there was obviously multiple people, he add everyone in. It's just going to divide the expense that you can leave that. It automatically does that. I need to attach my receipt. and then I'm going to submit this. Okay. Any questions? Anything somebody wants to show me a specific example that you might have any questions on? Or? I just yes. have a question. There uh -huh. was like, on that last screen, expense type, like out of pocket, would that ever be anything different? No. Okay. That's always going to be out of pocket for you guys. Okay, I'm going to be going into and oversee their design. So maybe Jen can jump yep. in one minute. Um, so I can do that. We understand people lose receipts. So we highly encourage, we really need receipts with everything, but on the off chance you do forget a receipt, there is a way to go ahead and submit without anything. Um, when you go to submit and you don't have a receipt, it'll kind of give you an error. So I'll show you where you can get to that if you do not have a receipt. Um, so I'm going to say another one. Um, the wellness expense. Oh, but I don't have my receipt, so I'm going to go to attach receipt again. And then very, very, very tiny up here, it says create a missing receipt affidavit. So you click on here and My option. I have to save it first and then go back. Sorry. Okay, so here it is. So I just save it first, but now I can go back and say, I do not have a receipt for this, accept it. Um, and that's like me signing off that I do not have a receipt um, for that expense. It's still going to let me go ahead and approve that. Or submit it. I apologize. So I'm going to submit my report. Are you sure? And that is submitted successfully. Okay. Can you now, click on the very, like, click on the over. Sorry. One more thing just to point out. On which one? Just uh, any of them. I just put okay. this back. Um, occasionally, like, um, say Susan would go to the grocery store and some of the stuff would be for her but some of the stuff she bought for us. So you like, and she just took a picture of the receipt, the whole thing will go there and you could click with just like one of them. You could click like personal expense, do not reverse and then it'll give you another line item where you put like this $50 actually was for me and then it would subtract it for you and says that you reimburse it out. Um, I mean, it's a very specific example, but I do know sometimes that people like, you know, have some other things on your receipts. It's, it's pretty self-explanatory. Once you click on it, it'll work one. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Just clean it. Yeah, we're back. Okay. 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 Okay
okay. So this is actually sharing with you my phone. Hold on, let me just get rid of this. Okay. So this is actually my phone. And I'm going to share with you. So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff, but that's not a different class. <laughs> Um, so you will see it here when you download the app, and I'll send out quick reference guides. I'm going to send quick reference guides um, after the class tomorrow, so it's going to have all of the instructions for you guys how to do everything. Um, but once you download the app, this is what it will look like. SAP Concur. You'll click that. because again I'm using the free version. So, okay, so this is what your screen will look like when you log in and you will see expenses, expense reports, approvals, and then there are some, some things down here, some other actions and functions you guys can use. I'm going to start by clicking this middle box which is called expense report. So I'm going to kind of piggyback on what Jen was saying and how to actually create an expense report. So you'll click that. I already have a couple in here but I'm going to show you how to click a new one. So to create a new expense report in the app, you can either click that plus sign at the very tippy top up there, or you can actually, I can copy like an existing expense report. My recommendation would be to actually click the plus sign at the top, and then it will look like kind of what Jen just showed you, and it's going to say report name, automatically defaults to the date. So what you guys will want to do, you'll change it to the formatting, which again is in the quick reference guides I will send to you. So let's say I want to do it for January 20, and then you put your last name. And then report date, you can just add it the default to today, or you can outdate it to January. Business purpose, again, that's you can leave that blank and comment. You can leave blank, um, or if you have a comment that you want your manager to see, feel free to add that. And then all you do to create this expense report is click Create. Okay. So now you'll see the expense report you will see a little plus sign at the top. That is where you can either go to add new expense or you can pull from an existing expense list. Maybe you've uploaded a receipt, which I'll show you how to do in a minute, um, but you can pull a receipt into this expense report. So let's say I wanna add an existing or a new expense. I'm gonna click that. First, it will go into expense types. So maybe I wanna click personal mileage. This is again, has like the Google, like calculator with the routes. So you'll click add route. You'll start. So this is kind of nice because I've already obviously played around with this. Automatically saved a couple of the addresses that I typically would go to. So I'm going to say I'm going to start here, Dublin Road location. And then I went to, let's say I went to Gahanna, the Gahanna office. And then, well, let's say that's the route I used. If I didn't, if I used a different route, I can click this and go to a different route. But let's say I use that route. Click that, and then make sure you go through each of these fields, make sure they all look okay, and then click save. And then it's automatically going to add that to the, that expense report. So this app is pretty slick. Like it's, it honestly, I think it's pretty easy to use. Um, but if you want to obviously continue to add your expense report, let's say I want to add another new expense, or maybe, actually let me cancel that. Let's so say I want to go from an, like a receipt I already uploaded, I can click from expense list. And I've already uploaded several receipts. You'll see like Starbucks, you know, Chuck E. Cheese. Let's say I took some of the <laughs> 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 I just going through my wall trying to figure out what I had. <laughs> <laughs> so let's say I went to Chuck E. Cheese with one of my clients. <laughs> Add that to the report. <laughs> Perfect. Great place to So it is going to give me like this little error message here if I click that. 
I'm going to see, oh, I need to do something. So the transaction day is older than um, the company allows. So this is from this summer. So obviously, it, w it doesn't drive the <laughs> Um, and then it's also missing a business purpose, and I'm also missing a receipt, so I could add the receipt from there. Actually, I did take a picture of the receipt, so it's not. Um, but if I would add a business purpose, I could say white space. Ooh, yeah, perfect. Done. But again, I wouldn't be able to submit this because it's from this summer. So just play along. Um, okay. Any questions so far on the app? So we can take a picture of the receipt, we burst out, and then throw it away. Much. Yeah, let me show you how to do that. That's amazing. Isn't that amazing? Um, let me show you how to do that in just a second. But once you're ready to submit this report at the very bottom up here, you can just click submit. And obviously, it probably won't even let me show you sure you want to submit this. Submit, and it will go to Becky for approval or whoever your manager is. You can kind of see the list there. So on the main screen where it says you guys will need to, once you get the app up and running, and obviously your logins. You guys will want to allow access for your, obviously, your phone to be able to take pictures and, like, your camera. Um, so once you guys do that, you'll be able to click, see this little camera right here. It says expensive. I'm going to show you on a uniform. I don't have a lot of receipts, so this is what we got. Okay, so I'm going to get real close. Snap a pic. So that so actually the amount on the receipt is 18. So it must have like captured this, but overall like this is wadded up in my wallet. I was like looking around for what I could use. So I could put incorrect and then just type in 18. And then say use. And then done. And then once I upload that receipt, I will be able to add it to an existing expense report. So it's still analyzing it up here. But I have a list of all the receipts that I've already uploaded here. So, still analyzing it. Um, but then I can go in and actually again add that to my expense report. So let's take this one for example. So this is a Chuck E. Cheese one. <laughs> Look at that. I, and I click the little ellipses up there. I can actually create it as an expense and like fill out like what I actually did with that client. Okay, I would go to create expense. From there. Any questions on the app? There's a lot you can do with the app. I think you can even, if you are a manager, you can't even approve from here. I'm going to let Allie go into that a little bit. Can you um, yeah. download the app? It will require you to have a password on your phone. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, I think most people do, but I know I did it. So. Mm -hmm. That's a good call. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so can, can your approver see if you have? An expense report that's <coughs> that you have submitted here. No, they only see the one you submitted. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. That's a good question. And if that approver is on vacation, how does it there, is that There's a title, yeah. yeah. So there's a, um, like a certain amount of days where then like it would go to me, but I could, we could, be you know, she processes and I can approve, so I can see anything that's floating out there. Oh, good. Okay. Um, we can also always set up like a secondary approver if there's like a long leave or something like that. Okay. Um, we don't have that set up from the beginning, but if we need it to for any reason. Yeah. yeah. So you'll get email notifications too. So say your expense report's out there and it hasn't been approved, you like it'll after your days like it'll remind you so you can go to your manager. Um, also managers will get email approvals. I just got two or however many she just created. Right to my inbox, so you have an expensive report to the ready to approve, yeah. and you can just click it straight from there. Okay. Any other questions? Again, the app is like so user friendly, and I'll send out all the guides you guys will ever need on this. So, yes, Claire. Just because I don't, I'm starting to do it again, not as much as I used to. The mileage for like a recruiter would that be my job fares going to the schools? Like, that is still appropriate to put. Because I know it was when I was a junior recruiter, that's all I ever did, you know? Since it's kind of yeah. stuck, I didn't know if that was something that was just assumed or yeah, yeah. You guys that. Um, and then also, sorry, we didn't add this cell phones. If you do um, have like a reoccurring reimbursement for cell phones, that is, you do not need to put this, you don't need to create an expensive board. We don't even have that pay code in there, just, there's no confusion. Um, 
Um, just like that, like you don't put them on your ex on yeah. now. So we're, you, know, you still don't do that. It's the same. Um, how does it work if you, I mean, I'm not saying I agree with it. You get five things on your expense report, but one of them gets denied. So, you go through that. There's so, a, um, yeah, so like there's a way, you know, and I can go, th I'll go through this more like when we talk about approving, but there's a way that, say, your rules going through t like today, and I just have a question on one of the line items that I want to talk to them about, but I want to make sure that they get reimbursed for everything else. You could send back an individual expense to the employee and say, like, you know, can we chat about this, or, you know, what was this for, and then still be able to approve the rest. Okay. Um, and, and then, and then so approve yeah, that. Yeah, and then approve that a little later, or not approve that a little later. But there's a way to just, yeah, separate it up, so. Thank you. Approvers, I would say stay, so Ali can go through with that. Anyone else, I'm gonna have you make sure you sign in um, if you're here in person. If you're attending virtually, make sure to use the chat feature to let me know if you're here. So, Approvers day. So here's what she just created in this wellness. I might just have some questions like, there's no receipt, what is this? I didn't know, you know what was going on. So I'll save that. So send back expense. So that's going to send that back to the employee. When you save it, it'll prompt you to write a comment. Oh, that's what I would like approve. Um, yeah, that's what I was wondering. Sorry. So I'm approving the whole sponsor report except for this part. So I'm going to write a comment to her, like, you know, what was this for? Or can we chat about this or whatever? And then that will go to her, and then she knows that that part wasn't approved uh, for your expense report. I don't want to do that yet. Unfortunately, we don't have like a test environment, so I don't want to approve anything because this is like, why? Is you can go ahead. You got to approve it. It goes through to me. <laughs> um, and then uh, to just like send back the whole expense report, again, same thing, um, send back to employees here, and then again, it'll prompt you for a comment why you weren't approving it. Um, and then there's one other thing I wanted to show you, sorry, if I'm going too fast, I feel like it's pretty simple, so, um, let's see, this one. So. Here would be an example. So she dispensed a marketing, she has a marketing um, receipt from Michaels for the Doskers. Well, I mean, I think this looks okay to me, but I would like Felicia to approve it. So I'm going to approve it, and then I'm going to add, you know, whoever the case to be that I think that they should see this too. And then they have to, it'll be in the third box for them to click approve as well. Um, same thing that goes for if it's something that's like, anything that's over $200, you guys would approve, and then it would go to myself, Jeff, or David to also have to additionally approve. Um, that's our, you know, our policy on having approval beforehand, is if you're, you know, if you're planning to spend $200, we like, so that just will be automatic. So. Yeah, so you'll press approve and it'll go, and then it'll just be like in my inbox to just for you and approve. Okay. 
Um, and same thing goes, say it's like a really large dinner, and I'm like, I, I think this is okay, but I don't want to take full responsibility for it, so I want David to look at this too. Then I can approve it forward and put, you know, somebody else, if you want somebody else's eyes on it, for whatever reason. Um, you can just do that. Is there anything else? And then the app is the same exact thing. It's, it's just as simple. You just. Yeah. I would just say like the comment stuff, you know, there, yeah, there's something that's like way more expensive, you you know, we found writing like this client was mad about this, I had to do this, you know, anything like that, I would suggest using, you know. Um, and I really do want to use this for better reporting for allocating expenses for public like, PLs for clients and stuff. So if you could put like clients and contacts in as much as possible. Um, I'm excited about that. Is that something we can add if the person who entered it did not populate yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. So, so we can add the expense report as well? Yeah. Okay. So it has like a lot of analytics here, so I can like spend by department, spend by client, spend versus last quarter, you know, so there's a lot of just like visibility into all that, so I want to make sure that we're using it to its like capacity so we can use that. And now that this is going to happen, but like as approvers, like you saw, like you can do like a missing receipt affidavit. Like, yes, like make sure that it's there. Like, we don't want anyone to like be snooty and, oh, I lost my receipt. I lost my, you know, so just start making a habit out of losing receipts, you know, and spending. So just keep an eye out for that, too. I would say. So if I would say the amount of times that anyone's lost a receipt is very, very so few and far between. But yeah, it won't let you submit unless you have something attached there, so you do have to like sign off on that affidavit. But can you, um, short of using the picture, the, the photo portion of that, can you upload a picture that you may have taken? Like say, like you didn't have a photograph of all of your receipts. Yeah. Can you upload from your phone as well? Yeah. So like what she was just like. Sorry, yeah. I had a no, that's okay. Oh, you just have to like, allow yeah. the app to access your photos. your, your yeah. photo camera okay. log or whatever yeah. that is, and then we'll do that the first time you sign on. Okay. And if you don't feel if you don't allow it, you can just forward it to your email and just like attach it on okay. the website. Whatever you're most comfortable. With. Okay. The app is very user friendly though. Yeah, it will it will start to learn your habits too. So like it'll start to you know if there's a certain. And it can be a JPEG, PDF, anything. Mm -hmm. I was yeah. really excited. Amber showed me how to take a PDF on my phone this week. Is it with an app? Or it's with the notes app. Interesting. I know. I Robin's next class. If you have an iPhone 7 or greater, when you go to your notes, um, what does she say? Like, you go to your notes, you um, click on, you know, like you're going to do a new note, and then click on the plus sign, and you can scan documents oh, nice. there. It's kind of like, and then it takes a picture, but it makes it a PDF instead of JPEG. Because we, I'm sure you guys do this all the time, where people take pictures of their time cards and stuff. And they're fuzzy. I, I don't know how much better this would be, but yeah, the pictures are. Um, so yeah, uh, I probably should mention this while everyone was here, but we do, we do, we would like to be completely live in 2020, so we have after year-to-date reporting and things like that. So if we could start, um, myself, Jen, Jeremy, or Catherine, you can answer any questions. There might be a few hiccups in the beginning, but. We tested this out a little bit in December with a small group, and I think that we should have gotten through most of them. Mm -hmm. It's very simple. I don't think there's really anything. <laughs> also, again, I'll send out the guides so you and your team can start playing around. Okay. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you.
Yeah. Oh, no. Super exciting. Hi. Hi. I know, yeah, I have an eye infection. Oh no. And like a sty. Oh no. I gotta show me the sty too. What's it is? Sean, really? You're just walking around with a gym. That's hilarious. Yeah, I'm just like. Oh. Great in the corner of my hand. Like, I know. She didn't tell me that. Yeah. 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 Yeah.